Right, here we are again. Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. This is episode one, part four. And you may notice a bit of editing in this one because I did actually have to cut some stuff out that was a bit too repetitive, walking back yeah. and forth and stuff. I think you had to do that last one too. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but it's very noticeable this time. Oh, okay. I'll try not to comment on it. Right, there we are with our brain pa brown paper bag sandwich. Yeah, still there. But put that in the bin. <laughs> All right. I got the woman's photo here. Maybe it's empty. Now let's see what I can find. All right. I should look for any details that can tell me who this woman is. Face. Go for the face. <laughs> oh, of course not mm, the face. What is that on her bracelet? Her name? Well, I'm pretty, Sarah. pretty sure right. she's a gypsy. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. Yeah, the name Sarah. There can't be many of them. I already have what I need. What? <laughs> that's all you need? That's literally all you can get from this. Right, okay, that's... that's pretty dumb. That was a complete waste of time. You would think so, but no, that's actually an essential piece of evidence. It may be an essential piece of evidence, but it's still a oh. complete waste of time. And you'll notice I still have the donuts and the lighter, neither of which I can give to John. Wait, what? Why not? I don't know. You'd think we've done. We're done with the lighter now. We'd best return it. Nope. Excellent. No one's looking this way. I'm an ace at picking locks. Oh, it's not going to be hard for that guy just there to look at you. Yeah. He'd just have to look up and think and go, huh? It's a big empty room full of people. Oh, and you actually have to now open the door. So, no one noticed her picking a lock, and didn't notice her going through the door. Yeah, no. These are the least observant detectives in the Davies world. Davies will be wicked pissed at me when she finds out I broke in. But whatever. I got a case to solve. And it couldn't possibly wait until <laughs> she got back. Or call her up and go, Hey, um, could I get in, get that thing out of your office? Davies promotions. I liked her more when she was one of us. We don't always see eye to eye on things, but she's still a good friend of the family. Uh, okay. This is called a tropic snow. I know because, believe it or not, Davies talks about it. Sure, I believe that. Why wouldn't information I? Information on some yeah. of our latest cases. That's not, like, that's not a good way to store information, I hate to say it. Also, that information? <laughs> that's totally Davies irrelevant. Favorite mug. She's always carrying it around. Especially when she interrogates people. She named it Phoebe. For some reason. Well, let's be honest. I don't have a need for this now. We, we name inanimate objects all the time. Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. Yeah, this is a dumb idea. Yeah. What's this? Another paper. one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? That's from Davy's niece. <laughs> How cute. Davies loves that child to pieces. That's an efficient use of space in that drawer. <laughs> if I'm honest, it's better than my filing in my drawers. <laughs> What, what exactly did we have to get in here again? It's been a while, so I can't quite remember. Uh, the... Davies always liked that picture. She told me she pictures herself in that lighthouse every time she needs some time off from all the crazy shit we see. As opposed to just going on leave. I think it was like we Davies wanted to look at something off. on her computer or something. Was she trying to get something from here? Didn't Davies say there's something in here for us and she'll give it to us when she gets yes. back? Yes, she did. Yeah, okay. Then how? Why oh, so hard to find? I was really worried when I saw that paper shredder that I was going to have to do a jigsaw thing with the shredded paper, but fortunately it's just a psychic power thing. Uh. 
Let's see if this works. Another one will be hanged tonight. When will you see the signs? I've left something for you at the post office on Milk Street. Maybe it'll open your eyes. Ask for Joey to help you. Okay. Oh, and this is actually how we solve one of the puzzles from earlier. Damn, what's the password? But first we have to guess the password. <sighs> no. And hope that they don't have a lockout system. Yeah. Also just hope that the <sighs> no. password is one of the things that we've seen in this room. Yeah. Which, right. fortunately, what it is. Also, here? it's her name. Interesting. Why does she keep this message? Seems pretty dumb. She deletes everything else. Well, that's always a bad idea. No paper trail. She's corrupt. <laughs> Track this IP. Well, Terence, I sent you a piece of the antique that was sent to my office. If Reed comes by with the piece you say she found, make sure you get it from her. Call me right after. Ah, so she's been sold out by Terence. Well, no, that was a, an email to Terence. Terence already like gave us the piece of the puzzle. On how I many think. laws I can break ah. today? Gallagher. I heard from Boldy that he's having problems Slowest with storing his equipment ever. over there. Yeah. Let him do what he needs. I need you to cooperate while the transition takes place. Davies. Hope that sounds Davies enough. Well, you and seem to know her pretty well, so. And delete. Yeah. I'm not only walking into the lion's den here, I'm dancing the Lombardo with the freaking thing. Yeah, I remember Gallagher said that we weren't authorized to order her to let Bulby into the yes. lab or whatever. Yeah, I recall that now. And walking out of the office, no one sees us again. Awesome. <laughs> so maybe, oh, we got the post office now, yeah. uh, To the morgue first. Because now that we've solved Terence's problem, he can help us with something. And I forget what. Is it something we actually care about? I'm betting Erica, the answer's no. But... What did you do? What do you mean? Gallagher just came here all crazy and shit a second ago saying how there's no respect for her department. Now she can't wait to see the day when I'm finally out of here. And then she said I could store my stuff with her equipment. Crazy, huh? Well, I have my ways. Where's that antique piece you promised? Here you go. Oh, that's right. He didn't give it to us yet. Thank uh, you. He wanted... But yeah, despite being ordered to take the antique piece from us, what does the gadget do again? He's actually giving it us the other. It works like one. an ultraviolet light. Mm. I just left that in because I love the way See it actually later. just fast Alligator. forwards through the cutscene when you skip it. Doesn't skip. <laughs> that's one way to do things, I suppose. I guess it's complicated to set up skips and that sort of thing. It's so. from something called a Le Pondu? Most games seem to manage it, but yeah, evidence of how well put together this game is. I wonder how these go together. There we go. Now what? Well, that was needless. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's good that they're showing things, but seriously, you could just go, Aha! I have worked it out. Yeah. And I'm not sure why we need to put it together anyway, because we already know what it looks like. We've seen a finished, complete one. Yeah. That wall's got all the oh, post wow. office boxes. Oh wow, that's quite a post office. Yep, like everywhere in this game, massively too big. 
People actually still use regular mail. In the latest statistics the department got, email usage outnumbered snail mail 80 to 1. But that was still 177 billion pieces of mail sent. What can I say? I'm a dork for statistics. By whom and when? That's fascinating information. I'm sure that will Five be relevant to the game. Five counters and only oh, yeah. two are manned. You know what? I guess it we're not the only government be. institute hit by the recession. Nice. Proposition. But not my style. The recession of whenever this game came out, I guess? Ah. I thought they were making some stunning political Hello there. commentary. I'm here to retrieve a package. Name, please. Davies. Madison Davies. One second. Oh, uh, do you have your ID with you? Why are we trying to re collect this package anyway? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is, like, mail fraud or something. Yeah, pretty much. This is not Box going to work with this. I thought I'd try bribing him. It didn't work. He's not a human, he's a this. I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. It was sent to my boss, and I'm here to retrieve it for her. Oh, uh... Sure. Is it just me, or is that guy, like, high? Yeah, he, he did seem a bit out of control. Thank Whoa, you. he's. Do you know who sent the package? The package. He's certainly yes, phoning it in. This is. package. Um. Uh, no, there, there's no sender info. Are you sure? Uh, well, just that it's postmarked from another Boston office. Uh, sorry. If you find out anything else about it, please call this number. Uh, will do. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Why would he? Agent. Yeah, where's he gonna find out more about it? But that that was just needlessly ridiculous. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they could have put a bit more into that puzzle of, oh, I'll just show him my ID and lie. It wasn't like you even had an option on what to say. Seems to be very rub item against Sing and hope it works. Yeah, and we're getting a fairly full inventory Who by this point. This but is there a limit to how babies. much we can carry? I don't think so, but it does make you wo worry about how much of random item mm. combining you're going to have to this do. This must yeah. be important. I mean, that can be kind of fun. Eh, but mostly what does tedious. This yeah. Open? So we got a key. These look and... like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? Yeah. Well. Can you do psychic on it? Oh. No, I don't think you can do psychic to things in your inventory at all. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder what we do here. Yeah, you'd think it was a jigsaw type thing, but no? I don't think so. Like, you can turn them over, but you can't move them around. Oh, okay. I guess there are more pieces we need? I suppose. Well, yeah, you probably need two, three, and five. Maybe eight as well. Yeah. It seems like a complicated way to... Uh, maybe, maybe that's right, I don't know. Just need to go find some scraps of paper. That shouldn't be hard. Is this the same body she was looking at before? Yep. Okay. Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. And now we can ask about this for some reason. Have you checked this on the body yeah, already? Yeah, because why the hell not? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Will you? As you wish. Fine, I guess I'll do my job then. 
Well, uh, now that's unusual. What the hell? That's that unusual. Looks like a piece of the uh, antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. No, that's I'll a bad idea. It. Make sure that, that looks good like a noose, actually. Bowlby knows of its existence. Yeah, that's the like part of the antique because it's I'll be seeing like you, the Dr. hangman Gallagher. statue. Good luck, oh, okay. Agent Reed. Oh, I can't remember this. Well, but why did she put it on the table instead of just giving it to us? Well, theoretically, it'd be covered in blood, wouldn't it? But yeah, I see your well, point. Yeah, but we just picked it up. Now we can combine I these wonder pieces as well. how these go together. There we go. Now what? Oh, every single time? Yes, every time. Oh. It's from something called no. a, a Le Pondu. And like, that dialogue doesn't change as you get more pieces. All we're missing from it now is the actual hanging man doll. The doll, yeah. She sits really weird in that chair. She does everything <laughs> weird. <laughs> So this is what we're meant to do with the name Sarah. Oh. Okay. The, the photo said not all hangings are suicides, so we got to look up suicide by vampire or werewolf or voodoo or hanging. Like, what are those? This list is really weird. Yeah. But yeah, apparently, look at suicide, her. hanging, the Sarah. The woman from that picture. One result. Let's see... I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Why would you remember it then? Same as Scott. Also, it's very convenient how everyone was buried at that same cemetery. <laughs> it could be a very big cemetery. So, this is the woman in the photo. That's good. Excellent. And we can download her. Well, you'd think so, but... I don't need to request any evidence right now. I... I think... I... I thought we did want the evidence from that case, No though. known current address. I should see if I can speak to this guy. I don't need to request Why? any evidence right now. Okay, so we're just gonna talk to a guy randomly. Yeah, I don't know what he's uh, supposed to be able to tell us, but are we gonna go approach him about his dead wife? I think so. Okay. I wonder if I can find Sarah's grave here. Sarah, where are you? What, a long slow process of looking at graves. Yep. Oh. Fortunately, she's Sarah, in the exact same row as yeah, uh, Erica's brother. Sarah Goodman, here you are. Literally, the three graves we need to know about are those three right next to each other. Oh, great. I think someone's confused doing things with adventure. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. No, why did you come here? This is pointless. <laughs> There's something under There's some leaves. flowers we can steal! Oh, leaves. Sorry. Leaves. Worthless. Don't want to steal those. What is this? Well, it's a locket. It's an old locket. Jeez. Could this have belonged to Sarah? It, it's also done remarkably well for a locket that's just been left out. Yeah, it's in good condition. No one's taken it. Oh, God. 
She was murdered. Well, that was graphic. Poor woman. What does other graveyard girl think about this? Oh, and this is another bug here that it's telling me I'm in a cutscene, but nothing is happening. Wow, that's fantastic. So I don't know if I missed something here, but I just went yes, skip cutscene because it wouldn't let me do anything. This clearly belonged to Sarah. Did Robert leave it at her grave? And why do we care? Yeah. I better leave her be. <laughs> it's a hard life being a cop. Yeah. I can see what you mean about the traveling thing. That seems to be yeah. a lot of back and forth. Hey, Sully. So well, like, you I could have done some of this more efficiently, no. but I need to ask you something. Like, you'd what have to it? know what to do in advance. Yeah. I found your name on I think a that's something that, that good games need to balance is you remember anything about Sarah Goodman being obvious without being too obvious that was my first case yeah when McAdams like was still in pointing charge. you in the right I took direction. the case with yeah. Davies why did the FBI take the case because of the husband he refused to believe it was a suicide he had some important and powerful friends and we got pulled into it how did it go down uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He yeah. was always abroad. When That's he came convenient. back this time, he found his wife hanging in a condo and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately he ruled it a suicide. You that. The husband made some calls, and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. Let's be honest. These so cops there aren't the very good. Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. <laughs> it was wicked Nothing awful. like that for your first real case. <laughs> Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. So the Have husband, you noticed the ergonomics of these Goodman, desks? Who was cleared of all charges? They're basically set up so they can stare into each we other's eyes. We checked and his story cleared. Yeah. He was very disturbed. You wouldn't want your computer Nobody's screen to be in front of you. Do you know where I can find him now? I mean, uh, I've got four monitors happens, at work, yeah. and I set them I up so no one can see me. He's, uh, he's on the streets. Well, yeah. He is. Yeah, here's the saddest part of the story. He never gave up on the case. He obsessed over it. Quit his job, spent all of his money, Isn't lost his Isn't the saddest part of the story the bit where mad. a woman died? I dealt with him a lot of yeah. times when he would come here to beg for us to reopen the case. Saying he had new proof. So that's who that was. I remember seeing him a few times, yeah. Did you ever look at this new evidence? Briefly. He went on about the possibility of someone having done this to others, but Davy said we'd be wasting our time. And look really, at the there evidence? was nothing concrete. What do I look like, a police officer? As for where you can find him, he hangs out what around Shafter <laughs> Avenue in Dorchester. I'll send the exact location to your phone. Who closed the case? I would have thought they'd rather keep it Davies. as a, a, you we know, an unsolvable case Interrogated than Interrogated Robert Goodman, close it. but there was nothing pointing at murder. We talked to several family members who knew Goodman's wife. They had moved to the city recently like, from some Davies suburb closed the in case, California. He, it sounds because like of the he's saying, work. I wouldn't have closed what the case, the but then say? he just goes, yeah, the, and it's totally the reasonable The was on the antidepressants. Yeah, uh, They'd been living here uh, for but a he's little less than a year, and she wasn't coping well with the move. It all pointed to suicide. So, uh, what's your interest? I need to look at a couple of things before I can say. I may need your help on this. Anything you need, it, Erica. It's like someone's heard about depression. Thank you, Jerry. And gone, oh, we'll make her have depression. See you later, Sally. And that explains yeah. the suicide. Yeah, I do. Get more wonderful writing in this game, I think. Yeah. It's just all the same. <laughs> I knew someone once, and they were, they were depressed. And they were suicidal. Therefore, all depressed people are suicidal. I think it's meant to be like the police just saw that and like didn't do a proper investigation. But like, 
we, we're going we don't to, have any context for that. We're going down it, Robert's alley, sense. are we? <laughs> Another one of those posters that, from the voice actors band, but ah. we can't look at it this time. Have we listened to the voice actors band? I should ask that man about Robert. No. No. Is it any good? I, I don't know. No. I should ask that man about Robert, that man who clearly is Robert. He looks like the picture you have of him. Also, no psychic traces in this filthy alley? That seems unlikely. Yeah, I thought there would have been a number of hate crimes from the night before. Hello. I I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? <laughs> Wait, what? It just stops there. About yeah. Robert Goodman. Uh, who's looking for him? Because you have to show him your badge, obviously. I'm Special you can't Agent just say. Erica Reed, FBI. I hate to say it, Can you point me to Robert Goodman? You know, those that would be me, conversation Agent. wheel things what are really want? shit. But they work. Yeah, you married to Sarah a lot Goodman, better than correct? these. What about Sarah? I'm just conducting sort of an investigation on her death, and yeah. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but <laughs> part of my past I'd rather not relive. <laughs> it would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. Why? Yeah, you, you seem fine. How could Why I convince him? Why does he have to come him? to the office? I don't know. We want to ask him about the his wife's death for I know. some reason. Use the locket and tempt him along like you would a cat trying to get it into a box. <laughs> yes. Is this Sarah? Oh, Not that I'm Sarah. suggesting we put, should put cats in boxes. Yes, this is her. <laughs> hey, cats like being in boxes. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. Seems there are like you others could out have just told him there could was new information. Your help. Yeah, that's Will you it. Please come with me. I'll come with you, Agent Reed. But I'm not sure I can be of any help. No. No, I'm not sure you can either. I feel like we actually got some progress in this episode. Yes, we did seem to at least complete one goal. Yeah, and like, solved some puzzles. They were stupid puzzles, but we solved them. <laughs> but when you consider, this, was, how long was this originally before you had to cut it down? Uh, about twice as long. So you had an hour and you've completed maybe one goal. Yeah. The quest to sort of ratio here is not good. No, it's not at all. <laughs> I, I did a lot of doubling back and... Uh, trial and error for this bit because those puzzles really make no sense yeah sometimes it's clear it's like oh, I probably should go to the graveyard others it's like I'd be going oh, maybe I should take this somewhere and rub it against someone and see what happens and yeah and speaking of the graveyard like mm. it I knew I had to do it because adventure game logic but in any reasonable sense there was no reason to go back to the cemetery yeah. that person was buried in the normal place okay Cool. Sounds about right. Why would there be anything of use at her grave? Yeah. But yeah, that's where a locket was that we need for some reason. And yes, like stuff like the locket and the photo, like, they're not evidence or clues. They're just random garbage that leads you to other pointless things. Do you think they actually sat down and worked out the, uh, the plot line first, or the plot has just grown over time? Because I'm sort of getting a bit of... I'm not, I'm not sure how which way I'm going with this. You'd like to think they planned it, but I'm not even convinced they've even read any detective <laughs> stories before, let alone written any. <laughs> I looked up detective in the dictionary, and it mentioned Sherlock Holmes. And I go, I'm not going to have something like that, I'm going to have a psychic. Yeah, uh, you think even if you're just familiar with... TV procedurals, you'd go like, oh yeah, these, this is how it works, you get the evidence, you talk to the witnesses, you solve the crime, but no, you don't do any of that in this game. It also seems to be a bit they haven't played a game before, because it, you, you do this a lot of running around not doing anything, 
there's not very many completion of goals and that sort of thing. It just... Oh, I need to... You know, like, big goals. I mean, like... Yeah. Yeah. The, the Sadly, quests. that is kind of typical for the genre, though, so they probably have played Adventure before. <laughs> These are the best thing ever. They never went out of fashion. Yeah. <laughs> like, they haven't played the good ones <laughs> where you do things that make sense. Yeah. They've just played the ones where you pick up every object you find and combine it with other random objects until something happens. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not, you know, everyone loves randomness, don't we? That's so cool. I, at least most games like this justify it by saying, oh, well, it's a comedy game. So you can go, oh, okay, it's not good comedy, but I see what you're going for. But, but it's not even a comedy game, it's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, that, and it's creepy, and it's a bit weird. And then they have splash things, you know, it's like they've got a series of good ideas. Or a series of ideas, and they just sort of mushed them together. Yeah, let's not go crazy and say <laughs> things we might regret. <laughs> well, but yeah, they, they, it's not very coherent. Yeah, it, it needs a bit of a overthink. And so I want to sit down and go, okay, we understand that you love this idea, but 90% of this is garbage, and people will get bored. Yeah, it's just all over the place. You might. Like, if you really like that idea, save it and use it somewhere else because it doesn't make sense here. Yeah. Yeah, you don't... Just because you thought of this before this idea doesn't mean that they have to occur in that option. You know, you can write you can write a scene ahead and then come back and p finish off the other one. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe that's what they did. They just wrote every second scene and then gone, fuck, how are we going to put these two together? <laughs> just wrote a series of disconnected <laughs> scenes... And then arranged them in the order that made the most sense, but still not actually making sense. Yeah, and, and, and in no way joined them. Yeah, like, finding the locket at the cemetery, I reckon they've come up with that idea, but then they've just needed a way to get you to look at that grave. Yeah. There's no reason for you to go to the cemetery at that time. That's yeah. just the flimsiest of excuses. And I go, you've got the psychic thing there, you could... That's a really great way to just plug things in and go... Oh, yeah. I don't know how to get this person here. And you go, well, just have them do some psychic and go, Oh, I need to go to the place. Yeah, exactly. And, like, when you get the locket, that should direct you somewhere, but the vision you get doesn't really tell you anything you didn't already know. Yeah. See, I compare this a bit with the Blackwell stuff. And... Because, yeah, you got psychic, you got ghost, you got medium, not psychic. But yeah same thing and that sort of gives you a good way to go why am I going here this seems like a dumb place but okay oh yeah it makes sense because the ghost says there's another ghost here or whatever yeah you know and like the puzzles make sense in that game where like yeah. you need a photo but the guy who has it won't give it to you so you use a camera to take a picture of the photo to take with you it's yeah. like yeah that's what a reasonable person would do in real life that's it that's a good puzzle yeah Oh, and I did... I actually tried out the hint system in this game this time. Oh, yeah? And it's not as bad as I remembered it being. It's kind of context-sensitive, but not really. So it, so it tells you things you've already done, and also kind of asks you if you want help with puzzles you haven't quite encountered yet. Oh, excellent. So it, they, they've gone, no, this is too hard. I'm just going to give them everything, and you can go ahead and work it out. Don't read on. Yeah, basically, like you can you click through and like each click gives you another hint, but like the first one will always be useless. It doesn't tell you anything yeah. except where the first clue is, like just directing you to a puzzle you didn't realize you needed to solve. <laughs> so actually finding the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. 